So what's new when it comes to SoftBank's public market strategy? Well, um, today uh, my colleagues in London learned that it has, in fact, um, built up those positions to over $20 billion, and that marks a big turn from when we first heard about this plan from Stock SoftBank in August. And then investors thought it was a bad idea. SoftBank's shares fell. But now that plan looks like a bit of a stroke of genius. Uh, stocks that they invested in, like Netflix and Amazon, have been going up on the hopes of strong earnings. And uh, SoftBank's shares have been going up in part as a result of that stock plan, that, that buying public shares plan. So, Sarah, of course, we also heard a bit more about uh, the drama that is ongoing about WeWork. The chairman actually said today that the former CEO didn't get as much money uh, after leaving as uh, we had originally been reporting. What happened? Yeah, well, think back to a year ago when Adam Newman, the CEO of WeWork, was on his way out the door of that company as we learned that, in fact, it had been very poorly run and a lot of overspending and people were outraged at the size of his exit package. He got a um, billion dollars to sell WeWork shares in a tender offer, a $500 million loan, and perhaps most galling, a $185 million additional uh, payment. But it turns out, as we learned today, that he did not get that full $185 million payment. And Marcelo Clauri, the COO of the SoftBank Group, said, speaking at a conference, that uh, that payment didn't go through. And learning from somebody separately after Marcelo Clauri's remarks, I found out it didn't go through because a tender offer made by SoftBank for WeWork shares never went through. And that $185 million payment was only going to be made in full after the tender offer. So they kind of had some wiggle room to get out of it based on that. A small payment was made. We don't know how much, but not the full $185 million. So bottom line, Adam Newman still got a lot of money, but just not quite as much as we thought.